she lived with me in this interesting time where my kitties were just done. Before we start, I would want you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Finale. Hollywood and TV show tantrums are nothing new. Whether it's rude questions about a celebrity's body, bringing up personal and sometimes criminal subjects a star would rather avoid, trite questions riddled with sexism, or just poor manners, these stars all made it quite clear when they'd had enough. Here are five times when our favorite stars totally lost it. Number one, Justin Bieber hung up after an interview rejected about his mother. The singer was doing a phone interview with Mojo in the morning but he didn't appreciate when other performers were mentioned. The host said when he first heard Boyfriend, he thought it was Justin Timberlake. The singer said, that's crazy because our voices sound nothing alike. Then the pop star went on to say it wasn't a compliment. Another tough spot in the interview is when Bieber was asked if he was worried about Harry Styles being around his mom since the One Direction singer likes older women. Bieber then responds, I think you should worry about your mom, bro. Then he's got even more awkward when the interviewer said his mom is dead. Bieber then hung up. The phone call didn't exactly end there. The host stayed on as his co-workers tried to get the singer back on the line. At first, they think it was because he had bad service. But then it was revealed that he was offended by the reporter's questioning. 2. Chris Martin left after feeling like the interviewer was journalistically twisting his words. The Coldplay singer was doing a radio interview when he accused the interviewer of being deceptive. When he asked about his speech where he said the band will be away for a very long time, he responded with, I always say stupid things and I think Radio 4 is a place that will most remind me of that. He then continued, I'd say you're journalistically twisting me into saying something I don't really mean. Things didn't get any better, so he said he wasn't enjoying this and ended up walking out of the interview. The interviewer later apologized and cleared the air, but the damage has already been done. Number 3, Nicki Minaj calls an interviewer. Ladies and gentlemen, alrighty now Nicki Minaj, uh, what's going on with anything, everything cash money? The rapper was asked about the conflict going on between Cash Money co-founder Brian Williams and many artists, including Drake and Lil Wayne. She answered the question, but it was followed up with another question. Is there a part of you that thrives on drama? Or is it no? Or is it just plain and unpleasantness? Probably should have not gone forward with that one. The rapper didn't like the question at all. That's disrespectful, she said. Why would a woman thrive off drama? She continued to explain why the question was terrible, but eventually just sent the reporter out, stating, I don't care to speak to you anymore. Any reasonable person would understand the frustration and where she comes from in her anger. You go, Nikki. Nikki, you still there? Open up. Wake up. <laughs> yeah. What's happening here? Just going to sleep? How is cash money? Cash money is blessed. Thank Go ahead, you for man. asking. Number four, Russell Crowe assaulted a hotel clerk. Russell Crowe's temper is almost as famous as he is, but his worst transgression may have come during the filming for Cinderella Man. While staying in a hotel, he tried repeatedly to place a call back to his native Australia. The call never worked. In a rage, he stormed out of the front desk and hit the clerk in the face with a desk phone. Crowe was charged with felony assault and pleaded no contest of the assault charge levied against him. Perhaps the guy should learn the best method to keep calm when you want to totally lose it. It was a petty excuse for such a radical act, and it is still blurry what caused this big slip up despite years of media training. We have our sympathies with the poor clerk though. Number 5. Mike Tyson doesn't care about live TV In September 2014, CPTV24 anchor Nathan Downer asked Mike Tyson about a meeting the boxing legend had with the then Toronto Mayor Rob Ford. Downer asked Tyson lightheartedly, some of your critics would say there is a race for mayor. We know you're a convicted rapist. This could hurt Ford's campaign, said Downer. How would you respond to that? Tyson replied, you're the only one I heard say that. I don't have a comment to that because it's negative and you're being negative. Naturally, the host was taken aback and reminded Tyson that they were doing a live TV show, to which Tyson responded, I don't care. Downer changed the subject, asking if it's more nerve-wracking to perform on a show or to box. Tyson grumbled, it's more nerve-wracking for me to be here talking to a rap piece of bleep like you. The National Post reported that the Canadian Broadcast Standards Council later ruled that the network violated ethics standards by continuing the broadcast after Tyson's first use of profanity during a daytime program. Downer said in a sense deleted tweet that he didn't take Tyson's outburst personally. Wow, Tyson, that's pretty rough even for you. You make that, but you really a piece of shit. Hey, that come comment. on, come on. That's... No, that was a piece of fuck you. That was a piece of shit. You know, we're, we're, doing, we're doing live TV. Hey, I don't care. What... This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.